You see, this is why I can't be a director, because people can't follow directions. I told them to put my name on the back of the chair. At least you got a director's chair. Yeah, I only asked for one. I don't know why they gave me two, and I don't know why you said that, but that's whatever. Listen, I am about to Tyler Perry Spike Lee this joint. Okay. They're they not better than me, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but thank you. But of course. So, why are you thanking you. me? Is, uh, you're helping me with this, you know? I worked really hard and uh, I think it's gonna be so big. It just needs to be cast by. Okay, well, who's up first? Oh, my cousin and his friend, they begged me, begged me to be here, so they're gonna be doing this. Have they acted before? Eh, not really acting. You know, that's a far stretch piece of your acting. But they've done some things, you know, like Law and Order, Uncle Magic commercial, eh, huh. Law and Order? It's uh, huge. Yeah, it's a little, you know. Well, then I should go get them. No! Don't go get them. Sit down. Jesus. Well, why not? Quiet, Beverly. Because the gag is, I rigged some hidden cameras downstairs. And now why would you do that? Because, like I said, the success of this project hinges off these actors. Uh -huh. I'm going to be working closely with these actors. Mm -hmm. I need to know what type of people they are. But isn't it your cousin and your cousin's friend? So I just see you just going, know what we just going to tune into they... this right oh, okay. here. Just, just be quiet. I wonder what's taking them so long since we're the only ones here. True, but it's only been like 15 minutes. Man. So I've been going through this script, but it's kind of hard. Man, I don't know. I just came here because DJ just begged me to audition and told me to bring any actor friends that I know to come through. Has he ever written before? I don't know. Directed? I, I know he's directed. I know he's directed something and uh, he wants to be an actor or something like that. I know he did something with Jordan Riggs. It was dope. Oh, Jordan? Yeah, that's yeah. dope. You did something with Jordan yeah. Riggs? Uh, yes, I did something with Jordan Riggs. Okay, remember, he was on the show. <laughs> oh, that's right, you wasn't here. Yeah, but that. Uh, that, that. Shh. You wow. worry about the wrong things. You worry about, about something about you. I'm worried about my mentees. This is really hard to follow because, one, we're two lines into the whole story and I killed somebody. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right, I'm going to need to know why did I kill You're out of, sh do it again. Right, like, what's, what's, what's Chris's... You know, what's his motivation? Because you know, same See the eyes? Time, they big, right? Oh, so this is fun. <laughs> he hell. This ain't funny. G give me this. We shouldn't be do doing this. Anyway. To give you what? No, do not take my remote. Do give me remote control. <laughs> Forget this. This isn't there. I will not tolerate the slander. Um, can someone please bring the gentleman downstairs? Mm -hmm. We don't really care. <laughs> he doesn't care about his cousin and his cousin's friend. Someone bring the gentleman over. Here they are. Come hey, cuz. Don't, don't cuz me. I'm sitting in director's chair. We are not cousins. We are, I'm in your employer. Don't do that. And you must be Beverly. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you, nice you man. Nice to meet you. I know yeah. who you are. I know you. I know. Okay. It were really I'm happy to be here. Show. Oh, nice you are? You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for supporting the show and watching. Oh, yeah. Well, great. Right. Okay, well, do your thing. Okay. No, no. Was this like a meet and greet or something? Because I thought this was an audition. Listen, I have other people waiting downstairs. Wait, are they coming later? Because we were the only ones downstairs. Yeah, there wasn't anybody else. Oh, so there. on account of the fact that I can't count. Nah, I can't. I can't count. I can't read. I can't write. Um, I can't count. All right, cool, cool, cool. You guys should just go ahead. and I'm gonna just sip this water. Y'all should go ahead. It's um, you wasted enough time. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that's something wrong with your cousin? I don't know why I'm he's, not, why that's he's not acting my cousin. like that. I'm his employer. Let's do this. Okay. I'm only here because of you. Just it's all good. Let's just. All right. Okay. Let's get it going, Idris Nabo. <clears throat> Yo, why would you bring me here? I need a favor. 
and that is? I killed Raina two weeks ago. You, I, I know you you're did. a major shock, but I had to. She attacked me, and I knew nothing but to defend myself. You're sick, man. Maybe. Okay. Look, well, man. at least we know you can read, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, at least we know they can read a little bit of English. I am so sorry. Y'all are doing an amazing job. I apologize on behalf of Nightcap, and I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with Devon today. He is not himself, clearly, but I'm very sorry. Look, the problem isn't us. It's the script. Oh, really? It's the script. So, yeah. so show me where the script is, that is wrong. Well, here, yeah. the way it's... it's Who? Like, Who? Asked you. Who asked you? I mean, in, just step in, back. In, you like in her bubble. Cliff's defense, we've read a lot of scripts. Oh, you read a lot of scripts. And yeah, and this yeah. one, this one, cause is it's just not good. It's just bad. Oh, that's crazy. So. All right, so you and Cliff can go jump off a cliff. To be honest. Wow. Um, oh, double entendres. Yeah, that's what okay. we're doing. I mean, all right. Okay. We're intending puns now. I mean, um, we Devon, only came I mean, because you were just begging me, blowing up my phone. Right. Um, I think Devon needs um, a reality check because yeah. really, you yeah. do yes. I? Yes. Do I? Yeah. No. You do. Let me, no. Let me, let me yeah. play a clip for you because I think you forgot. Wait, there's a clip? Doing at 15, yeah. Devon. What was I doing at 15? Um, I was in high school looking at Hot Mess and <laughs> writing scripts that were like, one, the beginning with the Oh, no, oh, hell no. This yep. is red. Yeah. This, is, this is Jordan red. Yeah. Um, this is red. But one wow. thing that we can agree on is I'm much, much has changed since Whoa. 15. Whoa. I mean, you still look a hot Whoa. mess, so. Oh, we going there? Well, y'all obviously know that y'all didn't get the part. <laughs> Thanks for reading really? like you was in class participation. I'm playing. You look and you, are, uh, and you, you could go and somewhere with this Harriet Tubman team. I, I, I knew I should have came. Not Harriet Tubman. Don't recommend me to no one. Not Harriet. I mean, that's what you're giving. Y'all come up. And scene. All right. And scene. I'm like so done. Devon, uh, thank you so much for your little get up today. We appreciate yeah, it. Thank you lot. all for Don't being here. This. I that's apologize. Lot, yeah. On behalf of Nightcap, we apologize for the shenanigans of Devon. But welcome to another installment of our six part career day series. Devon, why have we been having so much fun with these shows? Beverly, I don't so. know. I mean, I was having fun the whole time because you missed one episode, so that doesn't count. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, um, more importantly, we have had the opportunity to unwrap some really special gifts. Yes, these young and talented people we have had the opportunity to talk with have inspired me to get my life, and I am sure they will do the same for you, even though you're like, For you, because I have my life together. Ow. Complain. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I do. Seriously, if you missed the previous episodes from this series, please visit our YouTube channel. Yes, and now I am super, super excited about the talent we are highlighting on this show today. Shout out to all my thespians because we have Jared Kemp and Clifton Couture who are truly rising stars. You may recognize these two from the hit Netflix series that features the first black superhero. Yes, I'm talking about Luke Cage. Jared plays the teenage Willis Stryker. And Clifton played the teenage Carl Lucas. Carl Lucas. <laughs> you gotta say Carl Lucas. Carl Lucas. <laughs> Before we give you the pick, you know we have to give you the bio. So I'll take Clifton, you take Jared. I guess. What? Oh, whatever. You can take Clifton. So, That's shady. I'm born dead. and raised in ATL, 20-year-old Clifton Cotrary was inspired by his theater teacher to pursue acting professionally when he was 13. A few years later, he came north yeah, that away. <laughs> oh, bad and bougie to New York <laughs> to further his acting studies and break into the Hollywood Studios at Manhattan Theater Lab High School. After his acting debut in Luke Cage, he, his, he, he is pursuing other film and television projects. You're it. All right, now Jared here. 22-year-old Jared Kemp also became interested in acting when he was in junior high school. His inspiration was his English teacher, Gail. Hey, Gail, who introduced him to Shakespeare. From there, Jared attended the famous LaGuardia Performing Arts High so School. Crazy. Jared made his acting debut in High Maintenance, the web series turned HBO series. His first feature film debut was in The Purge Election Year, really? in which was really sad to watch you die. And most importantly, Jared really is my cousin. So you see, don't play with me. You see how talent flows all throughout my family. No, seriously, as an inspiring actor, I had to bring these two on the show because I really wanted to chat about the craft and what they have experienced so far in the acting world. So, okay, let's take a look at them doing what they do, okay, in Luke Cage while we have a seat. One, two, three. Hey, switch it up. See that shit coming from a mile away. Stop cursing at me. Oh, now you sound like your old man. Don't start with that sweet Christmas shit. Give me four. Let's go. 
Harder, where's your offense? This ain't patty cake. Yeah. Yeah, that's that shit. Now give me five and an uppercut. Let's go. Uh, keep it going, keep it going. Should have stuck the football, huh? Time. Why are you doing this, Carl? Because some fool smacked you up in front of a bowling alley? You're gonna get yourself killed. Uh-uh. I'm gonna get this dude, Willis. It's about respect. City champs, Carl. My arm, your legs. Got nothing to prove, all right? You're running around here acting yeah. stupid, man. Get yourself hurt. You would understand. I can't let it slide. I'm a Lucas. Daddy ain't signing off on this. You're alone. I still got you in my corner? Always. Yeah, I'm not alone. I'm ready. <laughs> you ain't ready, Carl. Remember who you are. Wow, y'all, that was really good. Are you shaking in your seat, Beth? I'm shaking in my All seat. Right, I'm officially sure. shaking in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you just started doing what you were supposed to be doing in the first place, which is watching Nightcap, with us today are rising stars Jared Kemp and Clifton Cotrary. We just showed clips of them in the hit Netflix series, Luke Cage. So we mentioned how you got your start in acting, how you got interested and things of that nature. So did you get your start with Shakespeare or more of with the teacher, the English teacher that you had, Gail? Who really set the stage for your acting career? Um, both, actually. Okay. Uh, my teacher, my eighth grade teacher was Gail Badillo. And she had introduced like the class to, uh, to we, were, we were studying Shakespeare and also like literature and stuff like that. And that's when I really started to get into, into acting because um, I started reading these books and I was like, wow, like these characters are like really, um, I don't know, they're, I just wanted to like see what it was like to like live in other people's shoes. Like when you're like so interested in a character, you want, want to wonder what it's like to be them. Um, so I did Shakespeare like in that class and then got out and like started doing more theater. Right. And, like, went to LaGuardia and all that stuff. So you didn't have a crush on your English teacher is what you're saying. What? <laughs> what? No, because he just had this interest in acting. Gail, we sorry, Gail. No. Yeah. We really sorry. No, That's her. no, Miss Padilla. <laughs> 
I didn't have a crush on Miss Padilla, no. So no. at what point did you say, I want to take this acting career wherever it goes, no matter what it takes? Um, like a couple years ago. Okay. What's a couple <laughs> years ago like? Um, well, I went to, I, the first time that I actually thought about taking acting seriously was when I auditioned for LaGuardia High School, oh, which man. was five years ago. Uh, I auditioned for that school and I got in and that's when I like started taking it seriously and okay. started like studying theater and all that stuff. But I never thought I'd be doing TV or film or any of that. Mm. I thought I would only do theater. But and look at you now. Right. Yeah. Look at my son now. <laughs> you my son now. <laughs> Don't even. That conversation's for later. Wow. <laughs> so, you ready for this? Because I read ready. an article, all right, that pointed out some daunting <laughs> facts about a career in acting. Can I just say that here at Nightcap, we do not use alternative facts. Continue, Devon. Good. Thank you for pointing that out, yes. actually. Um, but you ready for these daunting facts? No, because I really got them written down. It said... <laughs> that for most actors, the pay is low. The growth rate is in this industry is also low. Only thing that high is competition. Do you believe that's true? I do believe it's true. Do you believe that's true? Uh, the, the pay is it's not that the pay is low. It's just that you it's in between jobs, so it's inconsistent. Mm. The oh. pay is actually good for the time that you're working time being on set. It's just that you might only do a gig or two a year until you oh. make it. So, yeah, that's when it's like, oh, yeah, it's kind of low. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's about it, though. All right, now, you, there's more facts. Okay. There's more non-alternative facts. Okay. It said roughly 70,000 people in the U.S. work exclusively as actors. There are more than 300 million people in the world, and those who are full-time or part-time actors are just a small little piece of slice of the working world. So, is this something you two really want to do, or do you want to be an overly dramatic drama teacher at a high school or middle school? <laughs> do you want to put on elementary school versions of Annie? Do you want to be a clown like Devon? I mean, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Devon's cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. cool. Um, no, yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty crazy. Um, you don't really think about, like, the odds necessarily. Like, I don't know, the percentage of you making it as an actor. You're just like, this is what I love to do. I couldn't see myself, like, doing anything else for 12 hours, 14 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if Cliff wants to talk about working on Luke. Uh, working like on boxing, Luke Boxing, you were going, Wait, did you, did you a lot of work. Did you train? I mean, not, that was my first sport growing up. Oh, wow. Yeah, so my dad used to have me sparring in the gym. My first sport So it just sport so happens that. Video games. His karaoke to be yeah. exact. <laughs> That was my sport. <laughs> just so happens, <laughs> just so happens that it came in handy mm -hmm. at the right time. We right. probably what did like three rehearsals before actually yeah. shooting. Yeah, but what I did do was a bit of weightlifting for about a month and a half. Wow. And we, sh but we, we shot, shot that. We shot that one. That one boxing scene that you guys, that you guys saw. Yeah. Shot that one scene for twelve hours. For twelve hours? No, probably longer than. Yeah, twelve, thirteen Something hours. Like straight. And Clifton was boxing the whole time. The wow. whole time. Wow. Your so arms is hurting, sis? I can't get up the next day. Yeah, oh, that's cool, what I was just cool, thinking. Cool, like, cool, 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 do you get paid extra to put in all that work and weight training? Nah, son. Oh, wow. No, that was just, that was just me. That's all you. Just proving a point. Okay, can we go back a few years? Do you remember that film 50 Cent started in where he lost a lot of weight? So <laughs> oh, that DVD movie? Yeah. <laughs> so in an instance yeah, like that, would he good. have like gotten paid to get in that No, because that's that what's required Listen, for where's, the role. Where's the camera at? 50? Hats off to you, man. I don't want to say anything Facts. bad about 50 Cent. Yeah, that's but um, <laughs> Are you scared? Yeah, because I'm trying to get on power, man. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, I'm not even. But listen, Facts. like when you, yeah, when you're like putting in work like that, like you want to be careful, like mm. especially like with a film yeah. like that when like you're losing a lot of weight or something like that, you want to make sure it's going to be seen by like some people, not yeah. three people. So Bev, if like on Nightcap, if we needed you to box, are you going to train? No. Why? You because need to put in the work like Clifton did. <laughs> You're canceled. But I don't got the time like Clifton. Oh. <laughs> oh, you in between them wow. jobs. No, 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 no. I mean, I go to school full time. I just got time to box. I just got time to box. On my box. free time, I just go to the gym and I just box. OK, well, one thing for sure is that you decided to follow your dreams and mm -hmm. Get on that career path to become an actor, and kudos to you for that. Very much. You hear a lot of stories about actors who go to numerous auditions, not sure like which one they're gonna get in, or many things of that sort. So, can you tell us about your first audition? <laughs> no, you can go, bro. You can go. Um, like professionally or like for school? Professionally. <laughs> he was gonna put, use the MTL audition. Nah, oh, nah I, I got some no. stories, man. You you sure? 
I'll, I'll go ahead. All right, so my first audition was for like a commercial. And I, th I think my managers was under the impression that I could actually like dance, like break dance. Wasn't it like the Coco commercial or something like that? No, nah, no, nah, I got that one. It was okay. like for like, I don't know, for like Twister or something. So I get in an audition room. I'm confident. I'm like, yo, I got this. Like my first yeah, audition. Dance, Twister, huh? They was like, okay, so break dance. I'm like, what the f <laughs> I was, I was like, yo, I don't dance. So I'm just in there. <laughs> Mad awkward, <laughs> straight face. Like I'm, like it. Like, like I thought I was like, a Marion, like Jay. Oh. I was, <laughs> Jay, he was about to say Jay. Yo, Jay I was I so <laughs> pissed off oh, because. Man. Yo. And then they hit you with, "It's okay if you don't dance." Uh huh. Oh. That's how you know you didn't get it. So right? you, so they made you. Oh. Oh man. Twister yeah. can't dance, y'all. Nah. Was it like around the time when Twister was popular? I don't know. I was like 14. Oh, yeah. Nah, Twister yeah. was probably popping in. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Left foot red, right foot green was popping. I know you got some stories. <laughs> you hate me. You hate me for the uh, joke. Yes. My first. Talk about the one on Lincoln Center. My first audition. Oh no, nah, that one was crazy. Um, <laughs> no, nah, my first audition was for this like this short film that I auditioned for. I auditioned for the lead of this film. Oh. And I am shook. And they <laughs> totally did not cast me as the lead. They cast me as like. I didn't even have a name in this film. <laughs> wow. And, oh, my God. Um, and I had to, like, get up at, like, 4 in the morning and, like, walk across town, like, through the snow to get to the set. But I just wanted to be in this film because, mm -hmm. like, that was my first film ever. So, like, wow. yeah, that was the first audition. So he what did you do to story. prepare for the audition? Like, what do we do? In what general, what do you do pr to prepare oh, for your like audition? For any audition. Um, you just got to get familiar with the lines. You have to know what's going on in the scene because, like, what's the, the difference between on set is that on set, everything is prop. Like, okay, I'm actually on a football field. Mm -hmm. I'm actually training. But in the audition room, it's completely different. You have to have all this in your head. You have to know what goes on before the scene, after the scene, the character's objective, motive, what do you want out the scene, who are you talking to, where are y'all talking, like, where's, like, where's this happening? You have to have all this in your head in the audition, and on top of that, have the lines somewhat memorized, depending mm -hmm. on, like, when did you get it, a day before, or two days before. And, you, yeah, I mean, after a while, it's, like, it goes from nerve-wracking to I can memorize lines in, like, yeah. 45 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. I in 45 minutes. I yeah. feel like mm -hmm. the most... Like it's nothing. I feel like the most, like, important thing to, like, auditioning or just, like, acting in general is, like, making it feel, like, organic, making yeah. it feel... That's the hardest part. ...natural, yeah. you know? Um, because if, if it looks like you're acting, like, they'll say, like, you're doing a bad job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so That's one thing I learned. <laughs> exactly. You can't look like you're acting. They say you can't be Devon as Jane Doe. You gotta be Jane Doe. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Because if you ain't Jane but Doe, But it's, trash. like, how far do you take it, like, becoming... Becoming Jane Doe, like I mean, because mm. because realistically, like when you're going into audi to an yeah. audition, sometimes you don't have like the time to like really, yeah. like research all of this stuff and really form this character in in twelve in like twelve twelve hours or whatever you have to you know do the audition. Mm. Yeah. So. <laughs> <Mad sad. laughs> like, no, I'm like I'm, I'm fascinated. I'm She's mm -hmm. like I'm glad I'm at CNN. So you you mentioned that one of the don'ts. Mm -hmm is not getting into character like you should. What are some other don'ts for your audition? Mm. <laughs> um, or do's, or both. Having, not, the, not having, the, the, having your size like directly in your face, uh, looking into the camera. Oh, uh, well, I, my acting teacher told me this story where they were holding auditions for some movie and the guy thought it was cool to just fart during no. the audition. Wait, what? Like, there's a lot of don'ts. Mm -hmm. a, yeah, like. <laughs> The casting director just, never wait, called that out. Wait, right wait, don't just I'm breeze just past to, it. Yeah, nah. I'm trying to understand. Far, like, you just breeze past there. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fart humor. Who yeah, because you don't know that casting director is <laughs> having a bad day and just, mm -hmm. you know, so farting. Why would you just like, up and just be like, some like, people, no, you just don't. Some you just people don't. Just, yeah, you, some people just. They oh just my don't God. care. They mm -hmm. just don't care. All right, in my research, because you know I research like that, but we have CNN. I found <laughs> I found it interesting how Fair actors flip. regard their craft. Yeah, craft flip. Um, on one hand, you have actors like George Clooney who said, "I cut tobacco for a living in Kentucky. That was hard work. I sold insurance door to door. That's hard work. I think it's not hard work. If you're lucky enough to be, why am I trying to talk like him? If you're lucky <laughs> enough to, to be sitting at a table like this, you've been very lucky in your life." 
You caught the brass ring somewhere along your leg, the way. Meanwhile, the gag. <laughs> you have actors like Peter Dinklage, the little guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute when he like goes and wins his awards and like. He's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, he's a great actor, but he's yeah. so small. Um, <laughs> he says, <laughs> saying I was so lucky smart. negates the hard work I put in and mm -hmm. spits on the, that guy who's mm -hmm. freezing his ass off back in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> where do you two fall in the spectrum? How do you regard acting or what do you think it takes to make it? Like hard good. work or luck? Uh, I feel like this is going to be a very deep answer. No, nah, this, yeah. yeah, this is going to touch the this touch is, soul. Get ready. <laughs> get, yeah. ready. get ready. Wow. Get ready. Here we go. No, nah, I feel like Jared's going to say something super motivational. Yeah. Go. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything super you motivational. You probably are. Me. Um, Most of the time. Shirt, you know. the, I would lean more towards Peter Dinklage. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that you realize, like, when you start acting, like, especially, like, as soon as I got out of school, like, when I, when I was in LaGuardia, I was, like, top of my class, like, pretty talented. You get out of school... You realize everyone is equally as talented as you. <laughs> <laughs> and the only the only thing that, well, like there are other factors, but like me, you know, like being in the right place, right time, and all that right. other stuff. But the thing that like really separates you from the other people that are gonna look like you, act like you, sound like you, is your discipline. And like, yeah, how hard you're willing to work. Right. Are you gonna Are you gonna go 12 hours shooting a boxing, boxing scene? scene. Are you gonna get up and do that? <laughs> uh, and you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all like, even even getting in the character and all that stuff. Yeah. It all goes back to like how disciplined you are. Are you gonna get up? Are you gonna work long days? Are you gonna not go out and stay in and do these lines? You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say hard work. You yeah. know something? Working behind the scenes at the Apollo and like you know, do, being like a production assistant and right. stuff. We learned that there's some people at the Apollo who can sing. And then you have people who can... Who can sing. Yeah. Now, sing. There, no, the difference between sing and sing, mm -hmm. let me explain. Sing is, you know, cute, like, ooh, yeah. But <laughs> sang is like that, like, you... Fantasia. Soul. Yeah. That, like, Whitney, mm -hmm. Fantasia. Yeah. You know how Fantasia makes some weird it. sounds yeah. in between every lyric? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. sang. She because a sang. lot of people mm -hmm. can sing, but a lot of people can't put that extra... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That extra mile on To captivate them. people, yeah. That's yeah. very true. So, what was your first role? Wow, you got that many? No, okay, no, he's like, just like a see. Couple, Jared like has a couple, a lot, a couple yeah. years ago. Hello. Um, probably November Criminals, which is ironic because it hasn't come out yet. So the first oh, wow. movie that I did is actually, it oh, comes out in April. Wait. Um, Amos, oh, I got a November? story. I have a story, <laughs> Wait, can I have you a say story that again? about this Can movie. you say that again? Can you say that again? It come out in November or something. It was I supposed to, and then it kept getting pushed cannot. back. <laughs> wait, so why don't y'all just wait till November? November. Like, so y'all could be actual November Criminals. Because wow. it, it has to get out in April. People's people's money's on the line. Oh, okay. Y'all can wait till I have a story about huh? that movie. So you remember how Jared was like, you know, going the extra step, being the character. Mm -hmm. So I auditioned for the role that he got mm -hmm. for that movie, right? You want to fight? Nah, not oh. at all. <laughs> nah, nah, not at all. It was just that you know, no, the character no. was like kind of like <coughs> nerdy, had glasses. So I go in there with the glasses. He go. He's like. What's that guy? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I ain't do that. That's <laughs> What's that guy? He's about to get you. <laughs> Don't you ever make that face again. This face? That's we got a meme. Can we get this? Hey, get a meme of him, man. Get wow. that meme. Wow. Stop. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that you could go in the audition room thinking that it's one thing, and they can go in a complete different direction. Mm. Right. Because did you wear glasses for that scene? In the movie? Uh, no, no. I, uh, oh, actually, yeah. He's like, no, oh, in the actual movie. I ended up, I did end up wearing glasses in the movie, but when I went in there, I didn't have, I didn't have glasses. No. Uh, wow, so you have to go dressed in character and everything. So it depends. It depends on the sometimes because the roles the I usually ones. go out for mm -hmm. is not like actually like nerdy type glasses. Okay, so what do you usually go for? Oh, high school job. Oh, good looking uh, bully. Oh, don't stuff go for like bully. That. Not bully, but like more hmm. of like. The jog with the girl, and he beats oh, up one of those. Oh, yeah. the dude that really wants her, he's going to get her at the yeah. end? Yeah. Um, go so you usually go for, like, the meat meal. You, you hmm? <laughs> Ooh, stop, stop. Come on, Cause, man. Because Drake's going to end up with her at the end, so you keep fighting for her for Don't nothing. Don't play my man like that. He's going for young Carl, young Luke Cage. That's what we're about. And I'm what kind of role do you usually go for? Um, I go for, like, a, a lot. A bunch of, like, different, like, some, like sometimes jock. Uh, sometimes like the nerdy, nerdy kid, mm -hmm. I can play like both of those. Also because I am like kind of, I'm more of a nerd than I am a jock, I would say. Me so too. So it's like the weirdest character you had to play. Weirdest, weirdest character I had to play. 
Um, I don't. I haven't really had to play like any crazy characters. I would, I would say the, the most fun was definitely Bull. Mm. That was a lot of fun. Like playing a high school like running back, who Uh-oh. like had a relationship with his teacher. That was interesting. Whoa. That Jordan. Uh, that, Jordan. <laughs> All right. See, I'm just calling place. Jared, let's take a look at you playing the role of Jordan in CBS's new show, Bull. TV's number one new show is Bull. Oh yeah. When a high school all star falls for his teacher. Susan and I are in love. It's a little too late for a parent teacher conference. It's the case. Susan and Jordan are having a baby. Can't go any worse. That keeps on giving. You're four months pregnant. It's not Jordan's baby. I'm gonna get full custody, you hear me? Wow. That was Jared as Jordan. What? Why would Jared as Jordan? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, a lot of J's. How was that? That was that was that was fun. That was incredible, man. Um, that was like my first like big big role on TV. It was really really dope. Yeah, was Everyone so treated me very you. well. It's, it's so been great. Pat on the back. So what are you guys working on now currently? What are the projects you two are working on? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I mean, if they're exclusive, we understand. Are no, I okay. I've got. It, two is it exclusive because it's a Marvel project, Clifton? Huh? He had that Marvel actor face. Yeah, you can't, you can't talk Wait, about that. Robert Downey Jr. be like, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't working. What you talking about? <laughs> you can't tell anybody it's about like, that. girl, come on. Oh, man. You can't talk about it? Why would you X-Men? <laughs> no, you. Oh, um, Disco. I'm working on, well, the first, the first movie that I ever did is coming out in April, April 7th. Go November. see that. November Criminals in April. April wow. 7th. That that right. Why? Wow. Exactly. It took a long time. November Criminals is coming out April 7th. The criminals and stole it and took it to April. That's what right. I was They took it. <laughs> that was a good one, Beth. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so tired there's, of being there's on another, this show. There's another movie um, called First Match that should be coming out on Netflix this either this year or next year. But uh, <laughs> other than that, just back to Are you still me. laughing at her joke? I had that effect, y'all. It's called Yo. the Beverly effect. <sighs> Anyways, I know you probably have an agent now who does the scouting for you, but when you started, how did you find out about casting calls? Both, both of our stories has, have nothing to do with that. Because mm. we, um, oh. wow. no, because you got discovered. <laughs> Beverly, wow. They writing their own story. They writing their own story. They're like, yeah, what is the true. agent? You got discovered performing play, and I got discovered in the showcase. So. Oh, why you got discovered? Actually, actually yeah, Wait. same, same, same. Like, same, yeah. What showcase? I went to this um, school called BIA Studios, right straight out of junior high, in between high school that summer, right that before summer. you. Okay. I, I started, and then I ended towards the end of my freshman year, and I did like probably like over like twelve showcases. Oh wow! And then, mm. yeah, I got a call back for our management. Wow! Then yeah. I got signed. Yeah, he's like, then I got signed. Nah, Is that, that how you landed with Luke Cage? Nah, this is this was like I was like fourteen trying to find representation. Oh, really? yeah. Okay. yeah. So how did you land Luke Cage? I got an audition from a manager. First off, we had no idea what we was auditioning for. Okay. Let's get that out the way. All we knew that it was Marvel. First, my character name auditioning was Chris. Mm-hmm. So I had no idea it was supposed to be for a young Luke Cage, none of that. So I went in there. I did okay. I did pretty good. And there were no callbacks, mm-hmm. so the same week I figured out I got it. Mm-hmm. So I just, it was a regular audition, you know, because we auditioned yeah. a lot. Regular, same old audition day. Uh, okay. Well, I'm auditioning <laughs> for today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, yeah, just one of those. Uh, All right, another day in the dollars. I'm going there. It's like, oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, so when I got the job, I'm thinking, yo, I got this part. My, my acting was amazing. And then when I figured out who was playing Luke Cage, I was like, oh. That's why I got it, because I look like the guy. <laughs> oh, I was, you know, I just spent the last two minutes like, yeah. damn, you look like Because yeah. I look like the guy. Like, <laughs> exactly. You like I was him. like, oh. That, that, you your be, daddy's son. Yeah. Hey. You know, being in the right place at the right time really mm-hmm. counts in this yeah. business. You know? That's true. Now, uh, are there any resources you suggest for casting calls for acting actors who are starting out right now? Actors Access is pretty good. Actors Access. What about you, Jared? Yeah, I would say the same. Actors Access, Actors, actors, access actors Connection. Actors um, Access. Yeah. <laughs> Write it down with your invisible yeah. pen. Yeah, yeah. sure. Actors, <laughs> like, no, actors like, Connection, I do all my self-tapes there. Okay. Like, the, funny, yeah. the, the, the funniest thing about, like, finding representation is that, like, if you ask anybody, like, nobody can give you, like, a solid answer because everybody's story is so different. So different. Mm-hmm. Like, when I, was, when I was looking for representation, I was asking, like, a bunch of people, like, 
who have been doing this for a while, and they were like, you just get, like, nobody could give me, like, okay, you go here and mm -hmm. then do this. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, me and Clifton both, like, do showcases and stuff like that. Um, is how you get, like, how you, it's like the best way to get, get representation. But yeah, uh, actors' access, actors' connection. Uh, backstage, all that stuff is super. Backstage is backstage. Uh, so I have a question, right here. How many auditions did you guys go on before casting? Like your like being cast in like your biggest, like your major role. That's a lot. <laughs> he, he looks like, just like Luke Cage. Like, I can't. Yeah, that's I'm wild. not looking at you the same. I'm like, yo, Mike. That's crazy. He his daddy's son. Hey. Well, technically, um, he played Luke Cage, so he's not his daddy's son. That's true. That's yeah. true. Like. A lot. a lot, man. How, can you give me a number? Like, give an you estimate. a number? Okay. Like, be, all right, like before, like before, I got like November Criminals. Yeah, basically, estimate. Maybe, maybe a hundred. No. Nah. No, no, maybe. I say maybe 50. fifty. Yeah. Okay. You talking about in total, like yeah. thirty years? No, no, no. Before you got your first major role for you, that would be Luke, right? Yeah. So what? Like, how many auditions did you go on? He's like <coughs> a thousand and six. Not, not a thousand and six, <laughs> but like three hundred. So like you gotta, you gotta understand, especially like around this time. This is probably like the first week I didn't have an audition since the year started. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you auditioned like two, three times out the week. So you add that up. Keep working hard, Clifton. No, I'm just. Let me tell you, Clifton in high school, nobody was touching. Nobody was touching Clifton. <laughs> we will all be in a showcase acting. I do my monologue. Yeah, it was cute. Ha ha. Everybody laughs. Uh, other people zoom out. Clifton, get up there. You just like. Yo, shut up. <laughs> Yo, that was Because what he's about to do is about to set his <laughs> hand. your mind. He about to blow your mind. Yeah, mind. Like, I'm they aren't even auditioning no one. And then, we, then when he rap, then he did the acting and the rapping. He hit him with the child. He's getting Bino. Yeah. He rapped to Meek Mill. Oh, Meek Mill. He, I'm too pop. No, because Meek Mill don't act. Don't count that movie on Netflix. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I haven't seen it. Don't, seen don't, it don't watch that. Don't watch that. We're not watching that. That's funny. We're not watching that. Okay, so let's step away from the acting a little bit and look at the directors. Now, I know that there's a different director for each episode, correct? Um, it depends. It depends? But yeah, they for usually change. Luke. So probably, like, our director did, like, probably the last two episodes okay. of the yeah. season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they switched so up. So, yeah, we worked, we worked with the same director, but some, yeah. yeah. They okay, so switch sometimes it switches up. It does. Got you. For the ones you two were in, they were Steven, Stephen Sergic? Say them names. Yes. Sergic? Say them names. Steven. I did that. Steven? Oh, you referred to him as Steven. Oh, you hear that? Big mm. stuff. Not as Steven. Like, we weren't going. Like, That's big like, buzz. Whole name basis. Like, <laughs> yeah, we, we was like, hey, guy. Hey. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, he didn't really know your name either? No, well, he knew our names because he was directing us. Okay, of course. Yeah. Okay. They was just like, hey, and Buzz. What's up? <laughs> um, Clark Johnson, right? Yes. Okay. When you were on set, how closely did you work with the directors? Uh... We didn't work as closely with the directors as we worked with like the fight choreographers. The fight and choreographers were our guys. And and, so and those um, are our buddies. And Chio. <laughs> <laughs> our buddies. Yeah, those are our dudes. Our they, were, they were so great. And yeah. and, and Chio and, and the writer. I mean okay. because like the directors, they're like the they're, they're, they they have to be like behind the camera. Like yeah. they, mm -hmm. they're not really like coming out to like I mean they were cordial of course, but like they're not coming out to baby you. Right. Type like when you're on set, like yeah. they're yeah. not they're not they're holding ready. your hand. They I want you to I, box I the say this on, I want to say this on camera. Chio, the showrunner who basically created Luke, that he's like really hands on with the show. Like Chio, yeah. Hi, Chio, Chio, we hear you. Chio, we he's, hear you all the way from East. Yo, Carver. he's yeah. hands on with the show. It's not always that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's how he's it's supposed to be. He's an cool. he's such a good writer. And like the thing the thing that's so crazy about about Luke Cage is like. And I'm not even gassing it because we're on the show. Like, I kind of am, but not really. Um, but <laughs> I the was thing, just thinking that you kind of are. The thing that's so crazy about that show is, like, if you, like, start, if you, like, read, like, Black, like, if you're reading, like, James Baldwin or, like, um, Maya Angelou, like, there are references to those, to, like, pieces of literature in Luke Cage that, he's like, get, he's getting you into his shirt, y'all. <laughs> He's really getting into his shirt. Oh, snap. <laughs> the gag is. I'm wearing but the gag shirt. Is. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to bring it back to acting because yeah. Beverly took it to directors. I'm going to take it, it right back to directing because <laughs> I have a directing all around question, y'all. You, you want to do your yeah, directing yes. and then we're going to go back to acting. So did the amount of creative freedom you had as an actor depend on the director? Creative freedom? Um, it depends on the director and the writer and the showrunner. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. The okay. showrunner and the director. It is? Okay. Because <laughs> because what directors do, because like maybe, like with our scene, maybe there's like certain nuances in the scene where if the actors know the information, it'll take out the authenticity of the reaction. So we didn't know till the, the day of shooting that we were brothers. Mm-hmm. Oh. On the show, yeah. Yeah, we had no idea that we were brothers. He was like, on the show, chill. No. On the show. Yeah, <laughs> no, so, wait. <laughs> Yeah. Do they look alike is the question. <laughs> yeah. So, but if, if I if n- I would have no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but that's no. funny. If I would have known that, mm-hmm. um, what was the line? I'm a Lucas. If if I would have said I'm a Lucas, it would have came off different because me saying that is basically saying I'm a Lucas without me knowing that he's my brother. Well, like half. Like yeah. Half so brother. yeah. So I wasn't supposed right. to know that he was my brother. Yeah. So this, you know, the director mm-hmm. does his job. He directs. <laughs> he directs. <laughs> yeah, you know. And which directors in Hollywood that you know of right now would you like to potentially work with? Ryan Coogler, off top. Oh, wow. Yes. Off top. Mm-hmm. No, because I'm really shook. He about to do... <laughs> yeah. Off top. He about to do Black Panther. If anybody has oh, been paying yeah. attention to this casting and, like, Black Panther is a it's really good. black movie. I'm yeah. so oh, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, in Africa. No, it, what? <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Coogler, yeah, I would love to work with Ryan. Yeah. Ryan, Coog- Ryan Coogler, can't pronounce his name. Also, the, the Hughes brothers. I'm like a really they they um, directed Minutes to Society and oh. um, uh, Dead Presidents. Iconic. Mm-hmm. Dead um, Presidents is like, iconic. And yeah, they just they Super have like a really uh, just a crazy eye for like these shots and telling these stories that are like really raw, um, but not necessarily like glorifying those things, but just like telling you that that's like it's mm-hmm. realistic, well, like yeah, that's what's life. going on. So I would love to work with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ryan cool. Yeah, that's it for me. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't that's it. Anybody know. else? Yeah. He's in your own Okay, so bringing it back to actors, yeah. uh, we had Omari, an actor named Omari, on the show, and he told me how he remembers his lines. Me, I just read one line over and over mm-hmm. and over yeah. until you get it. So, what's your process? What, what's the process for both of y'all? Um, what I do is that let's say I get sides like three days before the audition, I will look at it. So I'm like, so it's lodged in my brain. Like I'm familiar with it. Like read it like twice. Okay. And then probably like the night before, I actually like memorize the line. You just like I'll just wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. How about you, Jared? Um, me, I like I try to memorize like as much. I'll yeah, I'll like read them. No, I won't read like one line at a time. Excuse me. I'll read. I'll kind of like just keep reading over the whole scene and kind of get in the cues. Yeah, like getting getting the other person's lines because it's one thing like memorizing your lines, but then you also have to know like where to come in. Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You try and like not to memorize, like not to overwork it because you want it to be natural. Like you don't want it to right. sound like you're just, you're be just reading robot. something. You want to be living yeah. it. Yeah. So I have like to ask. Like philosophy class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I have to ask you, what was it like working with uh, alongside talented actors like Mashallah Ali and Mike Coulter? That's how you say it. Is that how you say it? Mike Coulter. Yeah. All right, Mike that's Coulter, how you say it. Yeah. Your father? <laughs> okay, cool. Or you? You, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say your you, Your future Luke's, you. Luke Cage's son. Um, we actually didn't get a chance to work with Mahershala. Yes, we, no, not, no, we didn't get, yeah, you were. Right. We got a chance to work with, with Eric. 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 Who, um, Alfie Woodard. With Alfie, yes, we did. Nah, because Alfie, I really love and you. And Mike <laughs> I mean, but we're like, we were, we were kind of just in the room with them, like, during the reading. Because they were on the same episode, but me and Clifton, like, had our specific okay, Yeah, scene. completely, mm. yeah. So but we didn't. technically, you are Mike Coulter. Technically, yeah. technically so, so you mean, are yeah. working with him every day. <laughs> <laughs> you, right. Right. you know, you know, we probably said, like, no more than three words to each other. It was just too awkward. Really? Yeah. Because I'm you and you like, hate me. That's like, at the table hey read, hey at the me. table read, I call him going like this. Like, it was just the weirdest like, you thing. You really look like me. Like, <laughs> also, like also, also, it just feels like you're kind of, you're kind of the new guy, like especially us. Like we're also yeah. like the youngest on that episode. Oh wow! And then all the other people on the episode had been working together, like had worked on other built relationships, everything. So we were like the new kids in school. Yeah. So Aww, everybody's that like, sucks. I mean, no, but Freshman every, Friday team. Nah, but people it was were, lit. but people were like, people were really, <laughs> people were really <laughs> gracious <laughs> and like really. Really open to us, right? like Alf, like Alfie right? Woodard Big came budget. up to us and like gave us of hugs course, and stuff. Of course, she, she plays was, everybody's moms she's and awesome. everything. She's gr- no, she's great. No, nah, she was What's, dope. Which, which, which and she no, smells she's really great. nice. I know she does because she has that black auntie feel to her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't she look like that black auntie? She does. She's wonderful. <sighs> but whatever, moving on. Okay. <laughs> 
So. Now, there was a time when big screen actors didn't take the small screen, such as you know television roles, but now the lines have blurred. Mm. And now mm. with the emergence of web series, there's an added screen, the computer screen. Mm. Jared, you've had experience with all the screens, correct? Yeah. Do you have a, a preference? Um, That's a good question, do you? I don't think you care. <laughs> I'm gonna make you care. Wherever, wherever that money. No, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, not uh, he not. I would lying. have to say film. Okay. Um, so the big screen. I'm shocked. Yeah, film because there's a lot. I don't know. There's a, especially like indie films. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that's just like you get to really like be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Like I've worked on indie films that weren't paying great. You know, that pay way less than like what I would get in a day doing TV, but I was just more, more passionate about it's that about stuff. The I was more, I was, I was, yeah, I was way more, I was invested in it. And not that I'm like, I'm not invested when I do TV, but I don't know, there's something about like, about those, those uh, smaller like films and like smaller sets and everybody's like really a family. Because when you're working on like these big shows or big movies, uh, it's hard to like be close to everyone. So, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely film. So what are the differences and similarities? To the big screen and the computer screen. Uh, I would say, I, well, I haven't. I've only done one one web series. That was the okay. show High Maintenance, and that was that was fantastic. I had a really good time. Um, but High Maintenance is, is different from a lot of web series. Like it was really, it was very close knit, pretty small. Um, but I had a really good time. But the difference is like film is a little bit. Film is a little bit like slower. Versus like TV, for example, is like really fast. Mm -hmm. Like the script, you might get a script on Saturday and it might change six times uh, before Tuesday morning. Oh, don't worry, we know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. What <gasps> are you? That's what you guys huh? are about. Was, was that? Oh, no, that was What type of shade was that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my God! And it wasn't here. It wasn't. It wasn't here no, at Nightcap. Sure, no. Man. Oh my God! Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Past experience. Hats, <laughs> hats off to you anybody are so doing wrong. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Let them know what we're talking day? about. Imagine it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Crazy. Mm. No, but I'm starting to notice that too. A lot of actors are going to like like Netflix and like TV shows. Like, no, I knew it was over once Holly Berry had had that TV show. I was like, yeah. Sis, you, you do you have something to tell us, you or you just like the show? Because because what Netflix does. Netflix give you the money if you have everything put together. So if you mm. have your showrunner, the script is already revised, and you have this, that, and the third, you have everything in place, Netflix will give you the money and full creative control. But as a network, you know, they will be like, okay, that's cool, but let's add Selena Gomez to this oh. and take that actor that you mm. wanted. You know, they'll put their, you know, you don't have his Netflix, mm -hmm. they give you full control and money. But also, yeah, also the thing with Netflix that's different from TV is that on TV, you have to fill a, you have to fill slots versus Netflix. You don't have to fill a slot. At like all. Like on TV, like you True. have to fill like this 8 p.m. primetime mm -hmm. slot. Versus on Netflix, they don't have slots. People just watch yeah. the shows. You just watch it. Binge watch. Yeah. So it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit less less Netflix of a changed less the game. of a gamble. Yeah. Really no, they really the did game. change the game. Netflix, the game. shout out to y'all. Y'all are really great. We love you, and we love to chill to you. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> okay, so, so let's talk about that's roles. An is it nobody chose, actually? Anywho, oh my god. Uh -huh. Anyway, don't you just love Nightcap? Don't you love Nightcap? Oh. Is there a role that you like wouldn't feel comfortable playing? <sighs> He's like <gasps> the new edition. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm worried. I'm worried. He's like Bobby Brown. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, like. <laughs> stuff that's stuff that's like any anything that like doesn't do like the like people who are going through it like anything that doesn't do them justice like if I'm if I'm playing like a story about uh, a black person I don't want like I would want it to do black people justice if I was playing a story about uh, a gay person I want it to do gay people justice I like I don't want to do roles that are like that are making like making people look, making like those people look bad. Because mm. that's one thing that you have to be like really sensitive about like as an actor, like you're taking on a role, mm. but there are people who are actually, who are actually living these, huh. actually living this stuff. So yeah. 
you yes. kind of want to be um, be sensitive to how you're telling the story. That's why I appreciate mm -hmm. the so shows ethical. who have writers who are relate to us mm -hmm. and they write for us, unlike some other shows yeah. that write for us. And uh, you want to give us that any writers' examples? rooms just look it just look or a little different. Um, yeah. Just like just make sure that you're getting those people's input so that you're yeah. telling like you're telling doing the story justice. Yeah. How about you, Clifton? I don't think I'll feel comfortable playing a rapist. Wow. Why you had to go? Oh my God. I mean, if That's I had true. to pick, yeah. because he already said what true. I was going to say, wow. you know. You He's like, I don't want to be on Law and Order. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> no, talk about like, something, you're no, guilty. Like, okay. If, no. That's true, I don't want to okay. I don't want to <laughs> physically do this thing where I'm actually like physically raping All right, come, oh, that. like, um, oh. what movie was that? For Color Girls? See, oh. that's wicked. I, yeah. Nah, that was that was sick. Like, I can't yeah. watch that scene. That's a lot of much. Oh. I mean, I would do it because it's, it's challenging and it scares me, but I, I'm not going to say I'm comfortable. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I have a quote from your friend, Peter Dinklage. Being on television, playing the same character <laughs> for <laughs> many <laughs> years. For you know, I thought you were talking about another Peter when you said my friend. I got <laughs> shook. Peter Pan? No. Yeah. I'm going to repeat the quote because Go Devon ahead. just wants to <laughs> sign <laughs> Being on television, playing the same character for many years for me, I think I would get a little tedious. It, mm -hmm. That would get a little tedious. What are your thoughts on that? Really? Um, yeah. Really, Peter Dinklage? I think that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that. Like, any, anything that, like, well, it's different from, like, doing, like, a show or, like, doing theater. But, like, when I think about, like, people doing the same stuff over and over again, I think, like, Broadway, you're doing, like, eight shows a week. Mm. That, Every show has to be like convincing and good mm -hmm. and a good show because you want to make make sure that people got their money's worth. Yeah, you're doing that eight shows a week for like a year or or years at a time. So I can imagine that. But like I guess it's all just like keeping it keeping it fresh and like um, I don't know, just like feeding off of the energy that that the people on set are giving you and whatever the case is. But yeah, I can that that happens. Yeah. Another question. So, biopics seem to be the new thing, uh -oh. right? Ooh. So, who would you not mind playing in a biopic? Mike Coulter? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Mike Coulter? Um, I'm trying to think of somebody he can play in <coughs> YouTube. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing any of the people in the Black Panthers. Or I wouldn't mind playing... I wanted to play Jackie Robinson. Like, growing up, that was my dream role. I wanted to play... Jackie Robinson, but I got beat to the punch for that. They might do. Oh, Chadwick Bosman, right? Yeah, mm. or oh, oh, Jackie mm. Robinson, or um, if they do something on Al, Al Green, I'll go for that. Okay. Or, wow. Um, Why don't I know? Like, I feel like I don't know what he looks like. I'm not uh, gonna say that out loud. It doesn't really <laughs> has to do with looking like somebody. If they, who's the one other than Jackie Robinson? I can see Jared playing John Legend. Whoa! Do you see it? If they get, if you just, if you just get that, really? That bull, I've know. never I got that it. before. I feel it. I don't know. That'd be cool, but I don't. Cause you know how Bob Hello, my darling. Hello. That's not what Don. That's how he sounds. No. <laughs> yeah, can you do it? Wait, can you do an impression of him? Hello, my darling. The frog. That's him. <laughs> that's it's not funny. I love John. Legend. She really loves John Legend. <laughs> Honestly, than biggest um, fan. Now nah, he's an amazing songwriter. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hello, my darling. Hello. Songwriter yeah. and singer. And actor yes. and producer. Yeah, so he's an amazing Because he's going to win an Oscar this year. I don't, I don't so that's know cool. who I would like. I don't know who the I want to I mean, I would kind of <laughs> want to play Barack Obama. <gasps> you can, his impression is crazy. Do it. Do it. Right now? Um, yes, do it. Okay. Do it. My fellow Americans, it has uh, come the to my attention that uh, you should watch Nightcap. <gasps> You if should Barack Obama said go that. on your computer, mm -hmm. go and type in Nightcap, mm -hmm. go support uh, Beverly, go support Devon, support uh, Clifton. Want to jump in, Michelle? Oh, because you got you the Michelle outfit on. You know what? People used to why. call me that in high school. Like, We're, not even really? joking. Well, I get it now. You know, this, like, this is the demeanor. But being, yeah. like, being, being demeanor. Barack is like more about like, it's way more than just the voice. It's, like it's the about the being swag, swag. Yeah. The charisma, man. Right. Like, he got that guy's great. The, uh, listen. Yeah, that guy's, <laughs> that guy's amazing. Yeah, he's a um, player. He's wow. a player. Also, yeah, he's great. Some, someone asked, someone asked, I never thought about it, but somebody, somebody had told me about like playing like a young James Baldwin, 
And I never thought about it in my mind. But okay. I, don't know. Mm. I see you it. You don't look like him, but I don't. If they like, I don't. <laughs> no, stop, because that's really his hair out. They gave me the, they if gave they me the, really the high low top. Yeah, yeah, if they really like jack your I face up. I, I would, I would. They, yeah, you could play James. That's you know, good. I can see you playing um, Damon Wayne. Damon Wayne. Damon Wayne. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Damon Wayne. <laughs> Wait, Damon like, Wayne? yo, let me let me just <laughs> tell you something. You can totally. Um, you can be on my wife and kids. Yeah, you can. That's fine. You look like nah. you look like one of the Wayans brothers. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He looks like Trevor Jackson. That's what I I don't look like Trevor Jackson. I don't see it. You don't see it. I don't. That's see not. It. A, that's not. A, I don't. See, I don't think that Trevor Jackson look like me. <laughs> I don't think that I'm fine. Hey. So, I'm just saying. I don't look in the mirror like, oh my god, like look at you, MCM. No. Oh, you, you like, gotta say that, man. You don't Trevor, like? Jack, Trevor Jackson is mad fire. Anyways, let's get back. <laughs> yes, back to the question. <laughs> okay, so Beverly, for you don't agree, huh? You don't agree. For aspiring actors who are coming out the gate, what do they need to have or what should they say? How should they act when they're going on their auditions? What do they need on their resumes? Give us the full shoot. Stop saying they're aspiring actors because nobody's going to want to sign them. Mm. People want professional actors. Don't do it, Miss Steven. Wow. Don't yeah. Do it. Shut down. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yep. I don't just say, like, like I said, like, just be... Be prepared, be cordial. Patient. Be mannerable. Manners, mm -hmm. like manners and just like being cordial, like yeah, saying yeah. thank you, saying like how are you, like that stuff goes a long way. It I've, does. I've gotten, I've, I'm, I've got, gotten, it's not a word. I've got jobs just based on the fact that I was cordial to someone. Mm. Like casting directors have like seen me from the previous time that I came in and they were like, oh, I remember you. You were really nice last time. We mm. really hope you get this part. Yeah, because with casting no, directors, just because you didn't get the job doesn't mean you're not good. They, if a casting director like you, you'll be in their office yeah. all the time. Mm. They just looking for the right part for you. Where right. a producer would say, "Oh, yeah, book him." Right. Yeah. So, so what else do up and coming actors not aspiring need mm -hmm. to know about the industry? It's not like school, at all. At in all. In what sense? In, in what sense? As in, it's not. Like in school, there's there's obviously a standout. Like mm -hmm. you could obviously be probably yeah. the mm -hmm. one or two best actors in the school. Like right. you could be the clip then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we. That's, a, a, that's a good minute. He was like, Yeah, okay. <laughs> the gag is, but nah, uh, the, it's it's not it's nothing like school at all. Mm. It's like really a business, and it's not you can't swindle your teacher and give you the lead oh. role. Like you know. Yeah. yeah. It's, Go with this damn <laughs> teacher soccer. I don't wanna. Yo, so funny. Yo, anyways. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Clifton. Thank you so much, Jared. Yes. It was great having you. Even though Mike you didn't Coulter. tell us what you were working on. It's right, fine. he's working on a Marvel project and mm -hmm. we called it because we can predict the future. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, while the credits are rolling, we are going to play some different music, not just any music, okay. not that theme song. Type We're going to play Just Got Paid by Johnny oh, Kim, the one and only Jared's father and my uncle. Rest in peace. Why they so did that? I know oh, some of the old viewers know the song. Not, not the only new the old ones, ones you know. But yeah. we listen to old ones. Being performed by his son. Nah, honestly, I'm about the lip sync battle. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, there's something moving in my body. What's moving in your body? This song. You feel it? Nah, something else. Oh, get, get. Wait, that's the actual day? When you only listen no, to Anita Baker. This, oh, wow. What? This dude, this dude's with me like that. What? Like that. Nah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not. It feels good, it feels good. Oh, this is, this is this the other? I didn't actually, I didn't just get paid. Yo, bro, that's the problem. I I'm actually, all off beat. <laughs> 